Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashwini and today you are going to see about Turbo C++. So what is this Turbo C++? It is nothing but a software used to execute C and C++ programming language. So here is the icon, you can see it here. So this is the software and when you open this software, whatever the blue screen you get, it is called as a terminal or editor. So first, let me open this for you. So once when you open this particular software, you cannot use any other software or any other application in your desktop. So here it is. Let me open a new file and this is your file. So this will be your text editor. So this is the blue screen where you write the program. Let me tell you what are the different options in this. So here down you can see F1 is for help, F2 is for save, F3 is for open, control plus F9 is your compiling F9 is make and F10 is menu. So this is the bottom line. Here we are going to go with this three lines. Here you have few different options. This you are not going to use. Next comes the file. This is the first thing. So file you have new. If you click on new, a new text editor will open. So here you can see a new page is open. Next step is open. Here with this option you can open a existing file by giving its name. Next it is save. Each and every page you need to save with a name. So you are going to save it. Next save has. If you want to rename your program page name you can rename going to save has next you have save all if you have more than one pages here you have three pages here you can see three page three page two like that if you want to save all all the terminals you, if you give save all all the terminals will be saved so next is quit so other things you are not going to use it here Next is quit. If you want to exit from this particular terminal, go to file, click on quit or alt plus x, you will quit the terminal. Next it is edit. If you want to undo or redo, you can do it. If you want to cut and copy, paste or clear, you can do it over here. Next is search. If you want to search any element, if you write a small program, you don't need this. but when you write a large program of thousands of lines, if you want to find it or if you replace, if you want to replace some items, you can replace it. Then search again. So if you want to search anything again, you can search, go to the line number. If you want to go to a particular line number, imagine you have thousand line of program and you want to go to 500 line. So if you go here and give the line number, you will go to that particular line. Then you have run, go to run, click on run, you will go to the output screen if your program is error free. Other things you are not going to use it here. Next it is compiling. So here you are going to compile your program. If there is any error, you are going to clear in this particular compiler step. So the shortcut key is alt plus F9. Next it is debug this you are not going to use here other whatever the other options is there you are not going to use the basic thing is you are going to use file open save undo redo compiling and running your program these are the few basic things you are going to use it in your program so this is about the terminal now we saw about the terminal next step is how to write a program so always the program you have a certain syntax. So these syntax you need to know. 
it is very important and c programming is a programming where it is a basic for all the programming language if you learn c properly c++ is easy java is easy python is easy to learn so first go with c programming learn it properly then go to the next step so here i am going to concentrate on first puc because first puc students they have c programming so that's why these videos has been done so other people who want to learn c programming and c++ programming you can follow this video and this c programming whatever the software is there the same software you get it in mobile also but the name is different you can go in my channel or i'll give the video description sorry video link in the description box you can click on that particular video link and you can watch that if you want to write a program in your mobile so whenever you are free if you want to learn it you can learn it in your mobile or tab next now we are going to see how to write a program before that i just wanted to request for you all to subscribe my channel so please subscribe my channel and please support my channel in my channel you can see all the computer science first puc second puc question paper and other subject question papers also with the key answers so please share this channel link with your friends so that i gain more support so let us not waste time now i'm going to tell you how to write a program so first is your header file first step you are going to mention a header file next this i'll mark it as one next second step is your void main void main this you are going to mention it so in void main you have a opening and closing braces so inside this braces you are going to write all your program everything inside this void main function next it is third step you are going to declare all the variable declare your variables okay so whichever the variables you are going to use it in your program first you need to declare it then only you can use if you don't declare any of a variable and use it in your program you are going to get an error called declaration variable incorrect or variable is not declared or variable in this particular line this particular variable is not declared so these are the few sentences you are going to get an error next fourth step is writing your c out statement so you are going to tell what's exactly your program is so you are going to write c out statement okay next fifth step is getting an input to your program so that is your c in statement c in statement so first you are going to mention the c out statement and tell what's exactly your program is next in c in statement you are going to input the values for your program next is your logical part logical statement so what is this logical statements consider you are writing a program for adding two numbers so adding two numbers means you need the first number and the second number and you are going to store it in a third variable so you have three variables so that variables you are going to declare it first next you are going to tell c out enter two numbers then you are going to give c in you are going to take the value for the first number and you are going to take the second number then the logical part is sum is equal to number 1 plus number 2 so whatever the value you get that will be stored in sum so that is what a logical statement is so whatever the formulas 
or logical means formula also formula or uh, logical statements or any other mathematical operations so all these things comes in the sixth step next seventh step is writing your output statements so again see out output statements output statements so these two are your input you are going to take an input here you are going to write your output statement using c out lastly you are going to write get h then the closing braces so this is how you are going to write your program so this is the main step and this is also called as a structure of c programming you get it for 5 marks so remember these steps how to write your program if you are done with this if you understand what is this then it is easy to write the program so this is about today's session so this will be helpful for all the students who are going to study the c programming and especially the first puc students if you have any doubts regarding this particular session you can comment it on the comment box or you can follow me in my instagram ashwini e you can follow me and message there i'm going to explain you if you need any help regarding the first puc as well as second puc you can dm me in the instagram or else comment me i hope you understood today's topic tomorrow we are going to see a first program thanks for watching my video please hit a like share it with your players share it with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you